When you start up your Android device for the very first time, you'll get this first screen. Do you have a Google account? An Android is very easy to set up if you have a Gmail account already. If you don't have one, you can always create one here straight away. So if you have a Google account, you sign in with your name and you put in your password. By signing in, you're agreeing to the terms and conditions. It wants to link you to the Google Play Store. The Google Play is where you can download apps, games, movies and books. So it's fast and easy, but you really need to connect it to a credit card because some of the games and some of the applications that you need to use you're going to have to pay for. You can choose to back up and restore this phone or this tablet device to your Google account. Now this is a real advantage because if you do this what you can do is if anything happens to your Google device or if you have to reinstall it or if you lose it and buy a new one you can log into your Google account and download everything bookmarks, Wi-Fi passwords, other data and it also remembers the apps that you've downloaded. So with this page here, it asks if you want to um, use your Wi-Fi, let Google Apps access your location. That means that they'll be then geotagging, or if you like, they'll know where you are in the world and they'll be able to perform according to that. So things like uh, Foursquare and um, certainly Evernote will actually um, put a, a note it can start notes with your address is where you are right now. Your setup is now complete and your tablet's ready to use. So let me just go back over that again. This is very quick and easy if you have a Gmail account already. If you have an iPhone account or an iCloud account, this is not so easy and you need to set up that email separately. If you want to get applications from the Google Play Store, you have to have a Google account. And when you're finished, this is what you see. This is the standard screen. And to see all of your apps, touch the circle. That's the one down the bottom. When you touch that one down the bottom, then it will show you all the applications that are on your tablet or on your phone device. Like that. And so you better see all of your apps. You better slide from one page to the other. If you want to add one of these applications to your home screen, you tap and hold, and then you just slide it where you want it to go, and it'll put that application on your home screen. There's another one to use, which is Pocket. So I just hold, move that application where you want it, and then take your finger off the screen and that will install the app on your home screen for you.